Quick update on my filming studio here. One of my A7S III's totally burnt up and uh, is acting crazy. It's probably because I left it on for four months straight. You guys may have seen the video that I made a few months ago about building out this filming studio here in Puerto Rico. I wanted it to be very similar to my last studio in the sense that I wanted everything to be set up, I wanted it to be automated, and I wanted to be able to film as quickly as possible. And one of the things that makes that really easy is never having to touch my camera at all. So I was able to accomplish my goal. I can control the camera, I can start and stop recording, I can power the camera, I can transfer the files, all without ever touching either of these cameras. In my last studio, I was filming with a Panasonic GH5 and I left that camera on for almost two years, maybe close to three years nonstop. I never had a problem with it at all. In this studio here, I'm now recording on the Sony a7S III and the one that I was using for my main camera started acting crazy after three or four months. It just started doing really weird things like randomly, it wouldn't connect over Wi-Fi to my iPad over here, which is how I control it. It would turn itself on and off. And then for one very important video, it actually shut off while it was filming. It corrupted the video file. I had to hire some company for 200 bucks to recover that video footage. And I'm like, what the heck is going on with this camera? It never acted like this before. I did a bunch of research online and I did a bunch of other tests with the camera and I kept finding more and more weird things that it would do that my other a7S III wouldn't do. And finally, I just realized, okay, something is actually wrong with this camera. I don't know if I burnt up the board or what. And to be perfectly honest, I am not 100% sure that this happened because I left this camera on for so long. But I do know there's a lot of other people who are using these cameras or Sony cameras in general as webcams. And so they are also plugging in their cameras and just leaving them on all the time. If you've had this problem before, let me know. I'm a little bummed out. I'm about to have to ship this back to a service center. And of course it's out of warranty. And they told me the minimum it will cost is $550, the minimum. This is really frustrating because this camera is so expensive. And I know many people watching this are just gonna say, yeah, but it's not meant to do that. You're not using it the right way. But it doesn't say anywhere in the manual, hey, don't use this very much or it might burn up. And like I said, my last Panasonic camera I left on for like two or three years absolutely no problem. So this is just a simple warning to everybody who shoots on Sony cameras in a studio environment like this and you're tempted to just leave it on all the time, you may actually want to let it cool down from time to time. This is your very last warning that the biggest photography sale of the entire year ends tomorrow. You can literally get over $5,000 worth of software, tutorials, plugins, magazine subscriptions for just $166 at five day deal. For this sale, we've included our tutorial perfecting the headshot with Peter Hurley. And in this tutorial, he teaches you everything he knows about taking headshots of anyone in front of your camera. Normally we sell this tutorial for 300 bucks, but like I said, it's included in this entire package. At the very least, head over to the link below, check out this incredible list of stuff. If you can find just a few products you're interested in, this will be an incredible deal for you. And like I said, you only have one day left.